Hi friends, recently I've made an MPPT solar charge controller. If you haven't watched that video, then you can find a link on the top of the screen and in the description below. The charge controller was working fine, but there was room for improvement. So I decided to make second version of my MPPT charge controller, which is the improved version of the previous MPPT charge controller. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I've created the schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. After that, I have selected all the required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. After that, I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely. Then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. First of all, we are gonna do a comparison between previous version and this improved version of MPPT charge controller. First, I have changed the inductor in this improved MPPT charge controller. The inductor on the previous version can handle 8 amperes of current, whereas this new inductor can handle 20 amperes of current. The second improvement is the previous version has no display, but this new version has a 16 by 2 LCD display. The LCD will show panel voltage, battery voltage, power and current. The third improvement I have done is the previous version can only be start with the battery which was fine but the problem was we cannot connect a direct load to the charge controller. So in this new version I have made the charge controller start with both battery or solar panel. The fourth and final improvement is as we know our charge controller uses N channel MOSFETs as switching devices and these MOSFETs are connected in high side configuration. So the problem in the previous version was we were giving same voltage to gate and drain. So there is a very small voltage difference between source and gate. Due to that the resistance of MOSFET becomes high and MOSFETs were heating. To solve this problem in this new version I have used a boost converter which generates higher voltage and there is an appropriate voltage difference between gate and source. So in this new version the MOSFETs are working fine and they are not heating. I've also made PCBs for this new improved version of MPPT charge controller. You can find the Gerber file link in the description below. So that was the comparison between old and new version. Now let's test the new version.